Well, I knew we had an issue because the creek looks like this for four miles. Then I get down here where my poly wire goes across my river where I need to wade it and it's deep. This is the time of year where the beavers decide they're gonna get aggressive. <laughs> so we'll see if we can't get down here and give them something to do tonight. Hey, good morning. I'm sitting here looking at the temperature and this is southern Oklahoma. Seven degrees is a little cold. You notice I'm not on my four-wheeler. <laughs> we have a change. You know, I've always made fun of those people in the north that have to have those driving gloves. The steering wheel's cold. I waited till this afternoon until it was a little bit warmer. It was single digits again this morning. And I had to come down and try to get them to move. They just weren't interested. Uh, they, don't, they don't mind being in here because they've got some feed still in here. But I need to get them moving. ago well so it's looking like some of them maybe were doing without water a little bit they smelled it and kind of piled over here against it and they're drinking like crazy which they had water i don't know what the deal was i'm just going to go ahead and let them drink for just a minute here and uh, see if then i can't get them once they kind of get settled on the water i can get them moving well it's about time to put the goats in come on ladies Woo. here go 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 That's what you get for messing around with the bucket. You this man. You gotta, gotta get your head out now. There you go. Now you gotta get your leg out. Hey, give her a chance to get out of the way. Hey, hey, quit that. You never know when you're going to need a good shovel. This is what's going to be known as the beaver challenge of 2022.
It looks to me like this is going to be the best area to knock it down. It'll be the quickest and the easiest. Okay, well. Guess let's get going on it. Look at this rock. That's what I'm busting out of here with the shovel. What I'm trying to do is just loosen it with that shovel and let the water, let the force of the water carry it on down. Beavers are amazing. This stuff right here, they either selected this spot because there was already some rock here or they somehow you know fan that stuff in here i don't think they carried them one at a time but maybe they did i'm gonna keep busting this up and get as much uh depth as i can right here i'll probably just let it flow for tonight sometimes i'll make a second one in a different spot just to make it more difficult on them but I'm gonna try this one first because the back side of it is deep. And so it gives me a lot of drop, which turns into a lot of force with the water helping kind of clean this thing out, so. Okay, so this is a barbed wire fence that's broke. Uh, it looks like it probably had a kink in the wire or something and broke, but I'm fixing to splice it. There's a lot of different ways you can splice it, but this is the way that we've used the most over the years and it lasts a long time. So if you have barbed wire, and you want to do it like this it, it works really well and i know i'm constantly working on fence but guess what the bulk of your time is spent on at least the bulk of my time is spent on in the farming and ranching business fence <laughs> i'm working on that that's why i'm putting in the 12 and a half gauge galvanized which we've used in texas for 30 years and hopefully it's gonna it's gonna uh, lighten my load a little bit We'll see. I don't think it's gonna hold. I guess it is. Now they make a longer one of those crimpers. If you're doing barbed wire and if you have those, uh, not the lead sleeves, but the other kind, you, you don't want these short ones. These short ones I use for the uh, 12 and a half gauge, just single wire is what I typically use that for. But those those longer ones, you want those because it, it'll, it'll give you a little more oomph when you're trying to when you're trying to crimp it. So I'm back down here at the beaver dam to take a look and see if they decided to accept the challenge. They decided to accept it. So we're gonna do a little bit more work on it today and set them back again and see if we can't get them to give up. Here's where they're going back. That'll be real easy to open up. The way this water flowed down through here, I'm looking to see if there's any uh, arrowheads. Oh, they're amazing.
Now that's using the force. Oh yeah, it's drawn back quite a bit. All right, I love it. We got a lazy beaver. Gotta love it. Well, I was down here moving cattle and gonna do a last and hopefully final check on the beaver beaver dam here. I'm looking at their beaver trail. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can kind of see where the dirt is a different color and it goes like that and then goes on out to the deeper water. But you can see how shallow we've drained this. It's it's come down if you look at that bank over there, it's dropped a couple of feet. And the only thing we have that's new here is we've got a big stick. Oh yeah. These twigs right here might be new. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna float them on down. All I have to say is I won. <laughs> Thank you.